What is up everyone and welcome to a Mac Pro 2008 upgrade. It's been ages since we did anything to my Mac Pro 2008, so I'm really excited to be doing this. And no, it's not a wireless card. This is just the box that Will used to send me the graphics card. And uh, of course, I did mention Will there. This is from Will, Will the Plank, the Tech Plank. I will link his channel in the video description. Awesome guy. And this is indeed the exact same card that he lent me um, to troubleshoot my Mac Pro and to get my Mac Pro back up and running. So, there is a story behind all of this and I shall tell you in just a very short while. So as I dig into this box, I'm going to explain what happened. Will basically messaged me out of the blue and said, Tom, I've got a spare 2600 XT, do you want it? And I was like, well, that is an intriguing offer, Will, because I have not got an official Mac Pro graphics card, and after the trouble that I faced last time, it would be a very good idea for me to get my hands on a proper Mac Pro graphics card. So, he uh, gave me a really good price on this, and I was like, you know what, let's go for it, dude, and he sent me this 2600 XT, um, which is really good because this gives me security and peace of mind with my Mac Pro. Now, you guys might be thinking, why the hell are you upgrading your Mac Pro when the Hackintosh is just around the corner? We're on part four of the Hackintosh build. You know, what is the score? Well, I'm keeping my Mac Pro. I'm not sure if you guys know that, but I am announcing today that I'm keeping my Mac Pro. So, um... Of course, I want it to be reliable and stable. So I want a Mac-specific graphics card, a Mac-compatible graphics card, a proper one from Apple that works with my Mac all the time. And also, this gives me now um, additional outputs that I can use. So that if I'm using a triple monitor setup, I don't have to use one VGA monitor, which is really good. So there are lots of cool reasons why I'm doing this upgrade. Now, if you look at the benchmarks comparing the GT640 and the 2600 XT, you can really see the four year uh, gap has really made a difference in terms of performance. This card performs a lot lower than a GT640, but that's not really the point. It's all about compatibility, um, as well as being able to run three or four DVI monitors. Um, if I put this in my Mac Pro, I will actually be able to run five monitors total off of my Mac Pro, which is awesome. So my plan is, the one side display that is running on VGA at the moment, I am gonna convert that over to DVI and use it with this card, which is cool. So my GT640 will be under less strain. It'll be running my center monitor on my left monitor. And then the uh, 2600 XT, or whatever I called it earlier, I might have called it an X1900 XT earlier by accident, I'm not sure. Anyway, this 2600 will be running my right-hand monitor, which is really cool. Um, it'll take the strain off the GT640, like I said, and it'll also give me an Apple boot logo on startup, which is great, along with all of the other things that are handy with an Apple boot logo. Um, um, you know, before you get into the OS and the NVIDIA drivers load up and whatnot. So it's time to shut down my Mac Pro and get it down off its little podium and install this graphics card in the second slot. Apologies for the window and the slight silhouette, guys. If I just close that blind, that may help a tiny little bit. Yeah, it kind of has. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I've got my Hackintosh on top of my Mac Pro at the moment. This is where it's living um, for troubleshooting purposes and other things like that, which is really handy actually, really convenient. So I've got all of this plugged in, so I'm gonna unplug. Actually, I don't really need to unplug all of this. I just needed to unplug the power cable. I can leave all of this plugged in. Just plug the audio back in, plug it all back in. Whoops. <laughs> Great stuff. So all I have to do is make sure I'm all untangled from there, and I can move this literally to one side. The ethernet cable is just tangled around there. I can move that over there, Get rid of these camera chargers down the back for now. Unplug the Mac Pro. Because there is all sorts plugged into this thing. Three USBs, Firewire, Ethernet, VGA, which we will be ditching, thank God. That will be great to get all my mon monitors running digitally. And it will help me out with some of the resolution difficulties that I have every now and again. And let's unplug this DVI and this HDMI. And that is us totally free. I can now, are we plugged in the front? Yes, we're also plugged in the front. Something's plugged in there. I can spin this around and we will pop it on my desk, ready to open up and take a look inside. All right, guys, so let's pop off the door. 
and take a look inside. As you know, I don't need to uh, don't need to use my latch when I pop off the door because I've got a G5 door, which is pretty awesome. Um, let's put that down there out of the way for a second. There we go. And if you guys can see in there, I will actually try and get a better shot of the graphics card section. There we go, guys, and you can relatively see what's going on, kind of. So <laughs> that's always a good thing. Let's unscrew this thing for what feels like the 50th time because I was taking cards in and out constantly when I had that little bit of difficulty before I read up about the security update. Um, so there's the GT640 and I'm just going to put the 2600 XT above it. Now I don't know if you're meant to, I think I'm actually going to leave a gap guys because that'll be better for airflow for the cards. Um, I'm going to put it in the second slot down because if I do that then that gives more breathing space to both the cards um, because of course the, they both have a fan, but I don't want to block breathing space for the for the 2600 XT either because I know that's going to be a louder card than the GT640 just by looking at the size of the fan. Okay, here we go. A little bit of a struggle just because the machine is not flat, but there we have it. That's the card sitting in the slot. We'll put this back on and then give it a final push because it's not the easiest thing in the world, guys this whole Mac Pro PCI section. I'd just prefer screws. If I'm totally honest, I would much prefer screws. Okay, so there it is, two graphics cards installed. There we have the GT640, which is a single slot at the back card, but it takes up two slots. And then we have the 2600 XT. Um, so on the back now, we've got three DVI connections, one HDMI and one VGA, a nice variety of connections, which is great. Okay, so after that very simple procedure, there's no power cables or anything, we will pop the door back and close it up. I'm very excited to have an Apple boot screen and a proper, proper Mac graphics card. The GT640 has been nothing short of fantastic, especially considering that it's quite a low-end card. It's been amazing to me, um, but it will be really, really nice just to have another little card to offload some uh, chores onto in terms of another monitor, if that makes sense, because I did see quite a lot of slowdown when I used, started using three monitors with my GT640. So I'm gonna plug all this back in and we'll give it a first boot and see what it does. I'm also gonna swap out um, my VGA cable on the furthest monitor, on the right monitor here, with this uh, DVI cable. So, so excited. Right guys, the setup is all over the place because I had to cut out uh, cable ties and stuff and get rid of the VGA cable. But the VGA cable, it's totally out of the way and I can pack it away into my drawer um, because I know it's a working VGA cable and there's no bent pins. Um, so I've got to reorganize the cabling on that particular portion of my desk and stuff. That's why it's looking really rough at the moment. But I'm just going to try it out. We're going to boot up the Mac in three, two, one, go. Just to see what it does. And I heard the spin of the fan. From the uh, from the new card, and there we have it. This is something that I have not seen in ages. That is an Apple boot screen, which is fantastic, fantastic news. Very good. I'm pleased with that. So in theory, this should work all well and good. The other two displays should ping up into life. There we have it. Great stuff. Great stuff. So guys, as you can see, my setup is all back to normal. All the cable ties and whatnot are back in place. And if we take a little quick look, I hope you can see this, but I'll explain it anyway. Um, if I take a quick look here at the displays, you can see Dell U2412M, which is running off the GeForce GT640. Same with the Dell 2009W, that's running off the GT640. That's both of those displays. And then this display, if you scroll over, SwitchRes X4 LCD display running off Radeon HD 2600 XT. Now, it's still running on SwitchRes. Um, I could, in theory, um, probably just run it natively now, um, and I would not need to use SwitchRes. Hang on a sec. Uh, I'm sure that used to be in, the, in this little bit here. Um, but, yeah, I'm not too sure what's happening there. But the thing is, the point is, it's working really well. Um, the display is working absolutely fine and I've noticed that navigating around the operating system already is a little bit more fluid um, with the dock and everything, especially because 
um, you've got a whole 20 inch display that is no longer running off of the primary video card and to top it all off I get the Apple boot screen which is absolutely amazing and obviously that will make my life a lot easier when it comes to troubleshooting if I ever have any problems. So everyone I'd like to say a massive thank you to Will once again, absolutely awesome guy and it's really nice that he thought of me when he wanted to get rid of a 2600 XT or he had a spare one, it's really nice that he thought of me before slinging it on eBay or whatever. Um, he's a really cool guy so go and check out his links in the video description and in terms of this upgrade guys I am very pleased yes it will be just a matter of days before I start using the Hackintosh as my primary machine on this setup but the, um, the it still stands that I'll have a genuine proper Mac video card in my Mac Pro and if I run it in the studio or whatever I'll run one display off the 640 and one display off the 2600 XT so that I can actually get the boot screen which will be a big bonus um, but anyway that's it from me guys I hope you've all enjoyed this video it's really nice to do a Mac Pro upgrade once again um, it's not a crazy upgrade by any means but it is very very useful so I hope you've all enjoyed and of course I will see you next time so guys I've just tested all of the games I'm on the last game now this is the uh, what do they what do they call this uh, mega games 2 okay cool um, this is actually quite a good one, you get a lot, you get three really good games. Um, but yeah, interestingly enough, the Sega Switch Pack would not tune in. I really don't know why. Um, I'll give it a go with the Master System 2, but if not, I'll have to find another one of these leads, because this seems to work fine on my TV. Um, it might be a dodgy lead. Um, but all these games work great, and as you can see, just got a Streets of Rage running on uh, this multi-game now, which is really cool. And I've taken some photos of the system in action to include on eBay. which is.